Marie Curie is most famous for winning two Nobel Prizes for her research on radioactive materials. But did you know her ingenuity and courage also brought her to the front lines in World War I? Forever changing the world of medicine and saving the lives of countless soldiers in the process? How did she do this? Let's find out! With the outbreak of World War I in 1914, Marie's research on radiation was put on hold. As German troops marched toward Paris, the French government instructed Marie to put her stock of radium into storage. Marie placed it in a lead-lined box and took a train to Bordeaux to store it in a bank vault for safety. Then she returned to Paris to help with the cause. New inventions such as fighter planes, tanks, and machine guns brought more destruction and more casualties than ever before, killing and wounding millions of soldiers. These new weapons of war caused more severe injuries and it was becoming extremely difficult for doctors near the battlefields to locate the bullets and shrapnel lodged in the soldiers' bodies. Now, although the X-ray machine was invented 19 years before World War I, taking an X-ray photo at the front lines was impossible because of the sheer size of these X-ray machines. And regularly transporting thousands of soldiers from the front lines to advanced hospitals just wasn't feasible. But Marie Curie wanted to help out with the war effort, and she had a brilliant idea to solve this problem. She put her knowledge of radioactive materials to work and started designing a mobile X-ray machine that could fit inside a truck. In need of funding and unwilling to wait for the French military to provide it, Marie contacted the Union of Women of France. They donated the money she needed to make her first mobile X-ray unit. The truck contained an X-ray machine, a hospital bed, and a dark room to develop the X-ray photography. In order to power the machinery, Marie designed a generator that used the energy from the petrol-powered car to create electricity for the X-ray unit. Now that she had a working model, Marie asked the wealthy women of Paris to donate more vehicles and soon she had a fleet of 20 mobile radiology units, but no one to operate them. With so many of the men already away fighting in the war, Marie again turned to the women of France. She recruited her then 17-year-old daughter Irene to help her train 150 women in anatomy, x-ray photography, electricity, physics, and even car repair. The mobile units were able to reach the soldiers on the front lines, who nicknamed the trucks Les Petites Curies, or the Little Curies. But Marie didn't stop there. She also supervised the construction of 200 radiological rooms in field hospitals located behind the battle lines. And by 1918, there were 300 X-ray units in these hospitals, operated by 400 radiologists. It is estimated that over 1 million soldiers received X-ray exams thanks to Marie's tenacity and ingenuity. Now, before you run off to save the world, don't forget to download your free printable from the description below. It's filled with fun activities, and you'll even get a chance to build your own Petite Curie in 3D. So until next time, be epic!